GIS is a system of tools, technologies, and techniques that you can use to create a visual representation of the real world and data that comes from the real world. It's taking that data and making it relevant and distribute it in a visual way through mapping and data analytics. And we can make decisions based on that. You know, if CVS wants to find out where to put their next CVS store, there might there's a ge geographic component to where I'm going to place this this next store, and there's an analysis behind it. Um, so, I, if I was going to say one thing, it's ge geography and GIS. They touch everything. What I would like people to know about GIS is it's not as foreign of a concept as they might think. You pull up Google Maps, click on a restaurant. You can see reviews, you can see photos, you can see hours, your phone number, all that kind of stuff. And that's kind of how our inspections work. In our maps, you can pull up the map and click on a pole that was inspected, and you can see the condition of, say, the insulators, the cross arms, um, the conductor. Every aspect of that pole, you can see the data on. Then the utility can, you know, send a repair crew out, make decisions, make better informed decisions from there. I'm able to do a little bit of everything um, with GIS. And that's why I chose this program, because it's like, okay, well, I, what I really want to do is work in conservation, is work in environmental science. And through GIS, I was not only able to, you know, work for these conservation and like park entities, I was also to turn that into like cities and work for, work for the county. At my company alone, mostly I work with the inspections, but I've also helped out um, our finance department, our sales department, to see you know, where our order's going, who's buying what and how much. There's, there's a lot of different fields that can you know, apply to. The program at Lakeland is a very thorough program. The GIS offered there, they have the best technology, they have the best printers, the professors here are really good at kind of introducing you to different concepts, uh, different applications for GIS, the different technologies that are available. It really just taught you how to use the software, how to think, how you can apply the different tools to problems. Not so much this is exactly how to follow step to step. So that's how it really prepared us, not just to use that specific software, but really how you approach a problem with a GIS solution set. I would say the best part of the program would be the discussions in class, just about what you can use it for, why you'd use it that way, the different applications for different technologies. Here at Lakeland, I was one of maybe at times, uh, you know, only a handful of, of students, so I had really direct attention they had as much invested as me as I had in, in them and their program. They wanted me to succeed as much as I wanted them to succeed. The professors care about their students there and they have a wealth of knowledge and they, have a, they know so many people in the field and they know where to steer you. They're career driven, they're career focused. People get jobs in this program and then you can move those jobs to any other field you want. Uh, Lakeland had such an extensive network within the GIS and the greater Cleveland area as far as contacts into different organizations um, that I really couldn't have gotten that if I went to, you know, remote to Penn State or, you know, other programs like that. So I, I felt I was prepared uh, for sure for those jobs. On LinkedIn, my current employer reached out to me and said, hey, we have this position. We saw on LinkedIn that your profile fits what we're looking for and asked me if I wanted to apply. Yeah, I'm confident that I learned the, the, the really the thought process of how to uh, address any issues that a company would need to be addressed with GIS.